Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I know you guys couldn't see my face, but today I'm going to be showing you guys something about free, true, um, what was it? <clears throat> uh, free, true, horror, um, I mean, why am I saying horror stories? Three true school lockdowns that actually happened. Okay, now you can see my face. We'll just put it there. If you guys could see it. What is happening? Okay, now you guys could see it, don't you? Okay, so we're going to be watching, oh come on, we're going to be watching free school lockdowns, uh, let me write it, free, true, School lockdown story. Yep, found it. So, we're gonna be watching it. Okay? In just a second. Um, just gotta turn the volume up. Yep, so we're going to be starting it in three, two, one. Stories that take place during school lockdowns. It was a typical boring day in calculus, only it was Friday, seventh period, meaning the week was almost over and spring break would finally be upon us. So everybody was getting antsy in their seats, I could tell. We didn't have a test that day like a lot of my friends did with their other teachers, so our teacher in the middle of class just decided to start playing games with us on Sporkle.com. He was a very laid-back teacher like that. As we were doing some brand logo quiz on Sporkle, I remember the exact moment it happened. Right after my friend answered a question, I remember the exact answer too, Adidas. The Dean's voice came through the loudspeaker. He sounded panicked and frantic as he told all the teachers this was not a drill and to go into lockdown. I actually got the chills and I got goosebumps on my arms as our usually laid back teacher too seemed panicked as he ran to turn off the lights and ushered us to the back corner of the room. We all sat in silence for about two minutes and then the usual buzzing that came from a panel in the back of the room ceased, indicating that the school must have cut all the power. We all looked at each other, realizing this must be serious. A few more minutes of waiting later, we heard a man screaming at the top of his lungs coming down the hallway. Two girls in the class actually started crying, which made all of us even more scared. As the screaming got closer to the classroom, the lunatic-sounding man started banging on the lockers while screaming, I'll kill all of you. It was at that moment that I started to fear for my life. My teacher shushed us as we all looked at each other to see our peers' reactions. The banging then moved from the lockers to our classroom door. And that's when one of the crying girls screamed no. The banging on the door only grew worse as the man started screaming, open up. Two of the girls in the class were crying out loud now. It felt like an eternity that that man was pounding at the door. But eventually, he finally continued down the hallway, screaming like a mentally insane person, until we could not hear him anymore. I'd say ten minutes later, though it felt like half an hour given the situation, the Dean came back on the loudspeaker explaining the situation, which was surprising for him to do. 
He explained that some apparently mentally unstable person entered the building and assaulted the woman sitting at the front desk, causing her to hell? flee the building screaming, and staff wasn't sure if the man was armed or not. Now this was before the school had cameras or could afford proper security, so the school was wide open to something like this happening. The staff had done a sweep of all the hallways and classrooms and couldn't find him, so the dean instructed the teachers to resume teaching but to keep all the doors locked and to not let any students leave for any reasons. The most disturbing part, however, is that one of the janitors working the night shift found the man sleeping in one of the storage closets near the back end of the school, and according to rumors that were sp Guys, I heard the noise. So guys, that's <coughs> all the...